When I decided to run for office, I had just finished a 35-year teaching career that spanned two area high schools. I ran for Maine Senate because of a sense of duty instilled in me by my family's deep tradition of community involvement and public service. My hope was that my experience would help make a difference. Hello, I'm Senator Dave Woodson of York County, District 33. And since this is my last year in the Maine Senate, it's my pleasure to bring you my final address as a state senator. My family was big in the civic involvement. My father and older brother in particular, they were Slackman Road Commissioner and volunteer firefighters. There was a lot more community involvement back in the 50s. And through my upbringing, that kind of public service inspired me to pursue my teaching career. After graduating from the University of Maine, I became a high school educator and began teaching in 1969. Yes, you had to wipe the chalk off your shoes back then. I taught social studies and histories at Massabesic and Phys Ed and Health at Freiburg Academy. Finally, I retired in 2014. By the time I retired, however, I had already been selectman in Waterboro and decided to run as a write-in candidate for the House primary that June. Now, write-in campaigns are always tough and often you don't succeed. You're late to the game and you don't have the benefit of having your name printed on the ballot. Convincing someone to write your name in a blank space is, is even harder. Yet I almost won. The primary was decided by just a few votes and it caught the attention of the then GOP party chair, Rick Bennett. Impressed with nearly winning the write-in campaign, he called me and asked if I would be interested in running for the Maine Senate. And I said, hey, I certainly am. How could I say no? During my teaching career, I had been a wrestling coach, football line coach, and even president of the Maine Coaches Association for many years. In fact, my wrestling team at Private Academy and Massabesic won state championships, and at Freiburg we won the prep school championships and the New England prep school championships. So here's another challenge and another race. It was too enticing to pass up. So I said yes. I won that fall, I'm still here. Since I was chair of the Waterboro Board of Selectmen, at the time I chose to resign to dedicate all my efforts to the Maine Legislature, and I'm glad I did. The first thing that struck me was the hour and a half long drive to the Maine State House. I remember coming down the hill off Western Avenue behind Shaw's and thinking, wow, the dome. As I drove along Capitol Street, realizing then where I was headed made quite an emotional impact on me. And just walking in the doors was a mind-blowing experience. I had never been inside the State House before. My first appointment was to the Energy, Utilities, and Technology Committee as its chair. And yet I knew nothing about those areas. I can honestly say I didn't even have any interest in it at the time. Well, that changed immediately when I realized how critical a role both energy and technology plays a role in our economy, infrastructure, economic development, and consumers. Admittedly, it took me years to master that committee as well as the inland fisheries, wildlife, state and local government, and my latest deployment to the Education and Cultural Affairs Committee. One of my greatest achievements didn't occur until last year when I sponsored a resolve, LD 313, with the passage of this measure, a working group has been convened to explore innovative approaches to advancing career and technical education opportunities for middle school and high school students. While it's still a work in progress, it was my most satisfying achievement. And looking back at my time here, I've seen legislators come and go, and I think that's an important point. Politicians are at the whim of the voters each cycle, and some of us really don't know what we're doing once we get here. What really holds the Maine legislature together is the staff behind the scenes who have the institutional knowledge and years of wisdom behind the 189 legislators who just happen to show up every two years are hundreds more who make sure this place runs right. From the staff in both the partisan and non-partisan offices to our committee clerks 
legal analyst in the Cruel and Revisers Office. These people ensure our legislative and parliamentary processes are followed and Maine's people are properly served. As I close out my time, I want to say that it has been an honor to serve the people of both my Senate District 33 and the state of Maine. Whether it was the students I once taught, the athletes I once coached, or the constituents I have helped during my time in the legislature, my life has been one of service to others and I hope that I've made a positive impact. Again, I'm Senator Dave Woodson of York County, District 33, and I hope you have a great weekend.